I want to share with you five habits I personally started years ago that absolutely changed my life because I know you will benefit from adding these five habits to your morning routine. You know, you may have heard that phrase that people are rewarded in public for what they practice in private. Isabel Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. I pray that as you invest in yourself today, you're captivated and you're catapulted to live your dreams. You know, recently I was in Denver, Colorado, speaking at a success conference when a young girl named Jane Ann walked up to me and handed me a list of eight goals she had accomplished over the past 18 months. Now, let me just read these to you because it was amazing. She's lost 70 pounds, bought her dream car, a Jeep Wrangler, went skydiving, completed her nursing exam after failing it in the past. She's read 50 books, moved to Denver, got her dream job, got a $5,000 signing bonus, and she's tripled her income. I was like, what? She said, Terry, I am truly living my dreams. I said, what made you get the ambition to make all these changes? And she said, well, I got tired of watching everybody else go after their dreams while I sat by overweight, unmotivated, feeling sorry for myself. She, she began practicing the five simple habits that I'm going to share with you today, and she is truly living her dreams. Well, that's what I want for you. But first, let me tell you this story about a friend of mine from Mississippi who went on an adventurous missions trip to South Africa. Now, while most tourists choose to experience, you know, the typical safari, getting to view the big five, you know, whatever, the lion, the leopard, the rhino, <laughs> the elephant, you know the five. Well, my friend chose to go see the monkeys. <laughs> now, these are cute little monkeys that have been donated to the sanctuary, and they're free to roam about the tree-covered hills and, I mean, land as far as you can see. But these aren't your regular little monkeys. These monkeys are going through rehab. Yes, they're adorable, <laughs> but they're criminals. See, these monkeys, this is a true story, they have been rescued from thieves. So crooks would actually train these monkeys to appear innocent and inviting, but while they're captivating you and they said they'll be sucking their thumb, they're actually sliding a ring off of your finger, slipping a hand in your back pocket, taking your phone, your wallet, your car keys. They're felons. These are little outlaw monkeys. <laughs> I promise this is a true story. So before my friends, Joel and Peppy, toured the sanctuary, the tour guide gave them strict warning. He said, don't take anything into the sanctuary that's valuable. He said, I mean it. Don't take your car keys. Don't take your wallet, your jewelry, your purse. Don't take anything of value. The tourists were like, are you serious? <laughs> the guide said, yes. He said, last week we had a guy who heard what you're hearing, but he didn't listen. He said he took his car keys with him, and sure enough, the monkey stole them right out of his pocket. Well, one of the alarmed tourists said, how in the world did you get them back? And the tour guide said, popcorn. <laughs> he said, monkeys love popcorn. He said, we toss kernels of popcorn on the ground, and without fail, the monkeys come. They eat up all the popcorn. And he said, but then we get one kernel in my hand. And he said, when everything else is devoured, they run up to that single piece in desperation. And he said, I hold that last kernel and I say, if you want the popcorn, you got to give me the car keys. He said, without fail, the monkey will drop the car keys, take the popcorn and run off. Now, I really want you to think about the truth behind this <laughs> monkey business, okay? <laughs> that monkey has in his possession something incredibly valuable. Those car keys have the potential to change his life. Now just pretend with me for a moment that monkeys can drive, but that monkey can go anywhere he wants to go. He could drive to the store and get all the popcorn he wants. He could sell the car. I mean, it could be a brand new Rolls Royce or a Mercedes. He has the ability to floor it and get out of that monkey prison and be free. And he drops it all for one single kernel of popcorn that's gone in five seconds. Did you know that most people your age, and you might say, what age is she talking about? Your age, whatever your age is, 22, 35, 47, 63, 72, whatever your age is, 
Most people your age will pick popcorn over car keys. A short-term desire over a long-term destiny. They'll pick entertainment over wisdom. Instant gratification versus delayed reward. What is that? It's just popcorn over car keys. In fact, you can go to a bookstore and pick up a gossip magazine, popcorn, and miss out on a personal development manual that could catapult your life to a whole new level. Or you could sit down and watch TV and miss out on one podcast that could take your business to soaring new heights. Think about that. You could scroll for two hours on Facebook and miss out on reading a book that could give you an idea to triple your income. Well, to be honest with you, I was a popcorn kind of girl. <laughs> I was average, I drove an average car, lived in an average house, worked an average job for an average salary. The only area that I was consistent in was consistently choosing the popcorn over the car keys. In other words, what I mean by this is I would wake up at the last minute to go to work, listen to music all the way to the office, work all day, listen all the way home, turn on the TV, watch it for hours, and then do it again the next day, and do it again the next day. For more than a decade, I chose short-term desires versus long-term destiny. Years ago, when I reached an all-time low in my life, my marriage was falling apart, I was falling apart, I had no vision, no money, insecure, confused, I got desperate for change. And one day in prayer, the Lord said this to me. He said, don't be average and your life won't be average. Now think about that. Emphasis on the understood you in that command. You don't be average and your life won't be average. That applies to everything. You don't be average and your career won't be average. You don't be average and your salary won't be average. Your relationships, your vacations, your opportunities won't be average. In other words, if everyone else is choosing the popcorn, you choose the car keys. Well, in 2002, I made a simple list of just Five things that I would practice every day for 21 days. I got a wall calendar, I got a big pen, and I just made a list of five things that I would do and start with day number one. Well, at the end of 21 days, I thought, I don't wanna stop, I'm gonna go for a whole month. Well, at the end of a month, I thought, I don't wanna just do that, I'm gonna do two months. Well, then it went to three months. Well, that was in 2002 and I haven't stopped. Those five habits took me from ghostwriting books for other people to authoring books, from attending conferences to speaking at conferences, from watching TV for hours to hosting a TV show. What happened? Well, I changed my habits and it changed my entire life. And I can humbly and gratefully say today, my life is anything but average. I learned how to choose the car keys over the popcorn and I wanna show you how. Now, bottom line, it all comes down to how you're spending every single valuable day of your life. In fact, let's imagine a bank credits your account each morning with $86,400. And each evening, it cancels out whatever amount you didn't spend during the day. You can't carry it over, can't carry over the balance. It's gone at the end of the day. But you get another deposit the next morning of $86,400. Now, how would you handle this? You would utilize every cent every day, wouldn't you? You would be adamant about making sure you got all that you were entitled to and nothing was wasted. Well, let me just say, you have a similar bank and it's called a clock. Your time is the most valuable thing you have. Every single morning, it credits you with 86,400 seconds. Each night, whatever you didn't use, it's gone forever. Can't get it back, it's your loss. But you get to start over with a fresh deposit the next morning. Well, what am I saying? The clock is ticking. And when you view your time differently, you'll start making the most of it. I want you to know every single second counts. You know, each of the 150 times you check your Instagram post, it counts. Each time you plop down in front of a TV for three hours, it counts. Each morning you oversleep by 30 minutes, counts. You know, I've, I've studied things like this, how we're killing time every single day without even knowing it. In fact, on average, they say the average American is wasting 10 minutes a day just looking for our car keys in the morning. That's five hours a month. The average person oversleeps by 30 minutes every morning. That's 15 hours a month. They say we scroll through social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, an average of 50 minutes every day. That's 25 hours a month. 
Bottom line, you have a limited number of seconds to do something with your life, and how you choose to spend them results in how you spend your life. Well, I read where the average life expectancy in America is 78.6 years. That means, now think of it this way, if you're 42 years old at this time, you only have 36 more Christmases with your family. If you're 57 years old, you only have 21 more summers to enjoy at the lake. If you're 63 years old, that's 15 more birthday cakes and blowing out candles with your family. 15, that's nothing. Well, I think it's alarming, don't you? Well, you know, an alarm is meant to wake us up. And I want you to wake up to the reality that you don't have time to waste. You don't have another hour to kill, another morning to snooze, another year to squander. Your time is precious, and each day you waste your time, you waste your life. You know, I heard John Bevere make this statement that just really startled me. He said, when judgment day comes, and it's going to come, when every single one of us stand before God and we give an account for our lives, he said, but when that day comes and you stand before God, He said, you're not going to be held accountable for what you did on earth. I was like, wait, what? I'm confused. He said, no, you're going to be held accountable for what you were called to do on earth. So what you did and what you were called to do could be two totally different things. So God may say, I called you to write a book. Why didn't you write the book? I called you to start a business. Why didn't you start the business? I called you to sing. Why didn't you use your voice? So God's going to hold us accountable for what he's called us to do. That's why we don't have time to waste. Well, God has prepared an extraordinary life for you, and he's expecting you to live it out. Well, how do you get started? Well, I believe it starts at the crack of dawn each day. So today on this broadcast, I want to share with you five habits I personally started years ago that absolutely changed my life because I know you will benefit from adding these five habits to your morning routine. You know, you may have heard that phrase that people are rewarded in public for what they practice in private. What you do behind the scenes has more significance than what you do in front of people. So I want you to pay attention to this because I know from the testimonies we receive from thousands of people all over the world that when you take control of your day, you'll take control of your life. The secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. I'm absolutely 100% convinced if you change your routine, you can change your whole life. Watch this and I'll be right back to share those five habits with you today. Five things successful people do before 8 a.m. New from Terry Savelle Foy. If you feel like you're in a rut repeating the same story year after year, this book will provide the strategies to lead you out. If you've got big dreams but don't know where to begin, this book will become a manual for what to do next. And if you've tried to start good habits only to fall back, this book will help you develop the discipline needed to break those patterns. Call or go online and discover how you can get the most of each day and live with purpose and passion. You'll also receive Terry's unique habits calendar. This one-of-a-kind resource will help you implement the five things successful people do so they can become powerful habits in your life. So don't delay. Call 800-795-5597 or visit us at terry.com to request your copy of Five Things Successful People Do Before 8 a.m. along with the habits calendar while supplies last. I'm so excited about my brand new book, Five Things Successful People Do Before 8 a.m. Now, these are the five things I've been doing every morning for almost two decades. I share the secret to self-discipline and how I've been able to keep at it for so long when I was so undisciplined before. You know, God showed me how to maintain discipline and consistency. Now, you may have heard that phrase, first we make our habits, then our habits make us. It's so true. And you're going to notice that none of the five habits demand a major life overhaul. Instead, it's about making small tweaks and adjustments to your daily agenda that lead to stellar results. And you do not have to do all these before eight o'clock. It's just the point that you have a routine that's going to lead you to your dreams. Well, one thing I've noticed without a doubt is that successful people are proactive about their day, not reactive. In other words, they take care of themselves first before they attend to those around them. You know, it makes me think of when you get on an airplane and the flight attendant always tells you to put your oxygen mask on first before you attend to anyone around you, including your small children. Well, it's the same with your daily agenda. Once you've invested in yourself first thing in the morning, 
then you're well prepared to invest in those around you, even your small children. You know, I've noticed that some of the most successful people in the world, they get up early. They practice what we call mind over mattress. Now listen to this. In fact, in the book, I put a ton of people who wake up early just to show how important it is that you get up and invest in yourself. Listen to some of these. Xerox CEO gets up at 515. Chrysler CEO, 3.30. General Motors, 4.30. Apple CEO, 4.30. AOL CEO, 5 o'clock. Disney, 4.30. PepsiCo, 4 o'clock. Brooklyn Nets, 3.30. I mean, I could go on and on and on. And like I said before, you do not have to get up before sunrise. But I do want to challenge you to start this new routine by setting your alarm 20 or 30 minutes earlier than normal. You know, morning rituals can change your life and lead you to success. So you might be wondering, what are they doing after they beat the sun up? Are there certain habits that successful people have in common? And if you applied these habits, could your life drastically change? Absolutely, I am 100% convinced. So the five things successful people do before 8 a.m. are, number one, they meditate or pray. You know, no matter what religion they are affiliated with, successful people make prayer and meditation a top priority in their day. I'm talking about people from all religions, backgrounds, and careers. They've discovered this as a success habit, as a form of, you know, helping them relax, unwind, improve their personal lives. You know, doctors are even prescribing meditation to lower stress levels and help with pain management. Well, think about it. If actors like Jennifer Aniston, Kristen Bell, Tom Hanks, Cameron Diaz, to name a few, if they find meditation helpful, and singers like Sheryl Crow, Paul McCartney, comedians like Jerry Seinfeld and Steve Harvey, they use meditation as a part of their daily ritual to prepare them for the day, how much more should we as believers dedicate even five minutes a day to just get along with God? Now, I'm not endorsing or condoning all types of meditation as a habit you should incorporate. I'm simply pointing out that prayer and meditation of God's Word is a solution for success prescribed by God Himself. You know, some recommend focusing on the universe. (laughs) I communicate with the Creator of the universe, and I'm only endorsing praying and meditating with the one true God and His Word, the Bible, which is our manual for success. But listen to what God said. You probably know the scripture, Joshua 1.8. says, keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night that you may observe to do everything in it. And then you'll make your way prosperous and have good success. So think about that. According to God, you have to meditate on his word if you want to be successful. Well, in my new book, I'm going to show you how to practice hearing the voice of God. How to practice His presence in your life to receive peace, direction, wisdom, guidance, all from this simple habit right here. Pray, meditate. The second habit that successful people do every morning is they read a lot. (laughs) You know, you may have heard this phrase that your life will be determined over the next five years by the people you hang around and the books you read. Oh my goodness, I hated reading. In fact, the only books I ever read outside of school were the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleader Manual and a book about gymnastics from Mary Lou Retton. I hated it. (laughs) Well, finally, when I discovered that leaders are readers and you must learn more to earn more, I started with a simple goal of setting my alarm for 20 minutes and making myself read. And you know what? It has truly changed my mindset, my choices, my behavior, my life experiences. You know, it's interesting how Wealthy, successful people, they approach a $30 book as though it has the potential to make them millions of dollars. Why? (laughs) Because it does. In fact, you know, I love little props, but let me just do this as a reminder for you. The key to success is K-E-Y. Keep educating yourself. That way you'll never forget this, right? Keep educating yourself. Now I can't get enough reading. You know, I've read where success is tied to your personal development. See, you can't grow anymore if you don't learn anymore. So you have to change your mindset like I did from viewing growth as a period of life, like school, I'm done with that, to a way of life. In fact, Jim Rohn said this. He said, anytime somebody says to me, I want to be a great leader, I want to be successful. He said, the first thing we do is follow him to his house and check his library. People say, why would you check his library? 
Well, according to Jim Rohn, the reason is because what a man reads pours massive ingredients into his mental factory, and the fabric of his life is built on those ingredients. Well, the Bible says in Proverbs 23, 7, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he, or so shall he become. I love what T.D. Jake says. He said, I ought to be able to look in your surroundings and know your dream. He said, are the books you're reading taking you closer to your dream? Are the seminars you're attending taking you to your dream? Is what you're doing in private taking you closer to where you want to be? Is where you're spending your money taking you to your dream? He even said, show me your checking account and I'll show you your priorities. Well, opportunities will open as your mind begins to open. Ideas will flourish as you turn the pages of a book. Now, I would say the most valuable thing in my home is my personal library. And it all started with a goal to read one book, one chapter at a time. The third habit of the most successful people in the world is they listen to audio teaching. They listen to audio teaching. You know, This habit is the easiest of all the habits to adapt in your life. It only requires two words and very little physical effort. Push play. (laughs) That's it. You know, successful people not only read each morning, but they also take advantage of every available means to increase their knowledge by listening to audio teaching. You know, whether that includes during their jog in the morning, you know, with your phone and your little headphones, or your weightlifting routine, or during your commute to the office, Successful people grow as they go. So when I first began this habit in 2002, I remember I found a gigantic CD player in a closet. You know, nobody was using the CD player. I went to my parents' house. I stole a bunch of their audios. (laughs) I put it on my bathroom vanity. And my goal was to listen each morning as part of my ritual of getting ready for the day. You know, I thought, I got to get ready anyway. Takes a long time to look like this. (laughs) I might as well push play. Well, then I found a pink sticky note and I wrote, push play. That's how undisciplined I was. And I stuck it to my mirror. The next morning, I glanced up at my little command. Oh yeah, push play. And the routine began. And I did it again the next day. And I did it again the next day. Until finally, I could remove the message on the mirror and it became a habit. Well, to this day, I pushed the little button. This habit in particular changed my entire mindset. You know, the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So every time you hear God's word, faith comes. And that's not all, fear goes. So when you add this habit to your drive time ritual, just while you're in the car, you can literally learn everything from marketing and business to finance, leadership, nutrition advice, spiritual guidance. You can learn an entire foreign language all behind the steering wheel of your car. You can literally go to college in your car while running errands, shopping, picking up the kids. You're never going to view traffic the same way again. You'll get excited about traffic jams because it's another opportunity to grow. The fourth habit is successful people write their dreams and goals. They write and review their goals. This is a clear key to success. Now, I wish I had time to go into this because this is my favorite topic to talk about, but I want to mention real quick, the fifth habit is exercise. And before you let out a big sigh, let me just say, don't look at the one hour you don't have. Look at the 20 minutes you do have and get moving. And I'm telling you, you will see so much the results, the benefits of just a 20-minute plan dedicated to your physical body every day. Now, I am so excited about my brand new book where I can go into more depth, The Five Things Successful People Do Before 8 a.m. It has proven habits that will advance your life to a whole new level. And like I said, I speak from experience and from the thousands of testimonies we receive, from entrepreneurs to authors, celebrities, and ministers, nearly 100% will attribute their success to the daily disciplines they've adapted in their lives. The most successful people in the world have a morning routine. They practice mind over mattress or they conquer the covers. (laughs) They win the battle of the bed. But let me just say, if God has been dealing with you specifically about discipline, about developing more self-discipline in your life, you need to get this new book because I will walk you through my personal daily routine of the five things that I just started doing each morning when my life was at the lowest and how it transformed me into a person of self-discipline. And today, I still practice those five simple habits. Here's the thing. 
the secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. You're going to learn things like how to start and maintain a fit lifestyle. I'll show you how I've maintained the habit of exercise for over 16 years. You know, it's one thing to get motivated, but how do you make it a lifestyle for almost two decades? Well, I'm going to show you how God taught me to be disciplined. Plus, I added my personal fitness declarations and scriptures to speak over your body that cause the weight to come off. So if you want to know where your life is headed, listen to the words coming out of your mouth, right? Well, there's one whole chapter on fitness. I'll teach what I call the secret to self-motivation. How to stick to your decisions, not your feelings. You don't ask yourself if you feel like you just do it. We'll even discuss the 10 things unsuccessful people do that the successful don't. Why? So we can steer clear of these bad habits. And you might be surprised by some of the little behaviors that are keeping you from your breakthrough, because I was. Well, also research the five common regrets of the dying. How to tell if you're wasting your life. Now, how do I know these things? Because that's exactly what I was doing <laughs> for 11 years of my life, sitting on the sidelines, letting life pass me by. Now, I also added in this a habits calendar. This is a custom-made calendar. It's not a typical one. You can start any month you want it's a convenient one, and this is a proven key to self-motivation. I didn't have a fancy custom-made calendar when I started, but when you see your progress, it's going to motivate you to stick with it. So I know you're going to love this as a, a reminder to stay disciplined on your dreams. In fact, this will become your personal checklist. It doesn't have months already. You get to start whenever you want. So let me just remind Oh, all you got to do is pick up the phone, call the number on the screen, go online, get your copy today, and I'm believing... What you do behind the scenes, it's all preparation for where God wants to take you. I believe this book will become your manual for preparation. Remember, the secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. So I always love to close out by saying, don't look at all the years you've lost. Let's look at the years you've got left and live your dream. Five things successful people do before 8 a.m. New from Terry Savelle Foy. If you feel like you're in a rut repeating the same story year after year, this book will provide the strategies to lead you out. If you've got big dreams but don't know where to begin, this book will become a manual for what to do next. And if you've tried to start good habits only to fall back, this book will help you develop the discipline needed to break those patterns. Call or go online and discover how you can get the most of each day and live with purpose and passion. You'll also receive Terry's unique habits calendar. This one-of-a-kind resource will help you implement the five things successful people do so they can become powerful habits in your life. So don't delay. Call 800-795-5597 or visit us at terry.com to request your copy of Five Things Successful People Do Before 8 a.m. along with the habits calendar while supplies last.